toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. What's going on guys? This is Jacob from the Chaos Divers. Today we are going to be doing the annual kickoff dive at Mermet Springs. If you guys are interested in learning how to dive, check out Mermet Springs. Without them, I wouldn't be doing this. So I appreciate it, Glenn and everybody. They have the best repair shop for your suits. If you guys are interested in, in learning how to dive, this is the place to do it. Everybody here is amazing. Here in a little while, we're going to get ready. I want to, I want to thank Chad from Wilkins Outdoor Adventures and his family family other way or Chad <laughs> well okay so uh, I just want to say thanks for coming and doing this for us so right now I'm just inflating this to make sure that, that my pop-off relief valve is working so I fill it up with air until it hits hear that okay then I take this check all my relief valves Make sure everything's ready to go. Always call out your air. 29.45. Make sure your regulators work. We're good. <laughs> so we're going to switch instructors. We have Greg here, and he's going to tell you a little bit about the, the dive facility. What you have here is an eight and a half acre quarry. It was a limestone quarry. Been open here as far as Mermet as a diving facility since, so what, 1995, I think? You have the shallower sections over here. You have a lot of training platforms. This is a cold fed spring here so at all times the bottom of it is at about 42 degrees at its deepest point you have several places where the water feeds in over here by the bus is actually the shallow section where it feeds in and it's about 15 feet you can feel a pretty good thermal climb coming through there you have training platforms out here and you have a lot of attractions to see right here you have you see these buoys each one of these out here these markers are different uh, objects or attractions these here are platform buoys okay so this platform here would be at about 15 feet and you've got three of them and a lot of the dive training that we do for newer divers ends up on these platforms here the next platform down would be at about 65 feet would be those two white buoys out there and then the deeper platforms are going to be over here 85 foot platform the white buoys a little bit further past that are going to be the 100 foot platform at its deepest point this quarry is at about 120 feet you have the boat out here you pass that several times that's actually used for boat training to teach people the, the etiquette basically of uh, diving on a boat and getting used to the entries of going in and out of the water on a boat over here on this side you'll see this orange buoy over here and that is the school bus that is one of our training spots there as well as well as well as an attraction that goes down to about 15 feet at the top of the bus and heads out towards those other orange platforms right there or excuse me orange buoys there we have what you call the petting zoo which is over here and also a big jaws statue it's a statue of a shark that's out there that's pretty neat. Coming across here, you actually start running into other stuff. I think the mail truck is gonna be that orange buoy right there by the 65 foot platform buoys. Over here, you're going to have where those two flags are sticking up is the 15 foot suspended Cessna. You also have the fire truck and the ambulance which are gonna be over this way a little bit. But the big attraction that most people like to come and see is the 727 airliner that was used in the movie U.S. Marshals. And right there you'll see that tall white buoy sticking up right there up out of the water that looks like a PVC buoy. That's the nose of the plane that goes down to about 45 or 50 feet. It works its way up the hill so at its tail side it's actually at about 15 feet out there at the orange buoy that goes back towards the rock. You have several other attractions that are going to be out here. You have train cars. You have rock coffers that were used when uh, this was a rock quarry. You have cabin cruiser boats that are out there. I think there's uh, maybe four or five Cessnas down here. Uh, one being directly underneath this platform that we're at now. Training dock way on the west side over there. And that's where we uh, used what's called confined water. And we used to train newer divers over there. 
It's sort of like a pool setting because it doesn't go very deep. You have several platforms here at the facility, that being the west. This is what we call the old primary pier. It's called our primary dock. This is where most of the stuff will happen, and when they go in the water today, they'll actually be going off this dock right here. This is where the countdown comes from. The deep water is out towards this side here, so the north side is where we do all our deep training. We also have a navigation course set up out here to teach people how to navigate underwater, which is actually a lot trickier than someone might think if they're good at navigation on land. It's not as easy underwater. It's so, very tricky. Yeah, very tricky. Very. Yeah. But that's pretty much the facility here. We also have wheelchair accessibility here. People who have disabilities, we can take this here and actually lower this down in the water with a diver on it. If they have disabilities such as if paraplegic or anything like that, we actually lower them down in the water. They just swim off instead of having to be thrown off in the side. And then we can also bring it down and when they come back in, they just sit on this and we actually hook a cylinder up to this thing here and then use the pressure from the cylinder to raise it back out of the water so they can come right back out. So this this is pretty impressive here because there's not a lot of facilities that have this. The neat for Mermit here. That is, uh, that yeah. is exceptional and I was unaware that that's what that was. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. That's an incredible. So if you ever see it used, <laughs> it, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it, it gives a lot of people who normally wouldn't get the chance to do things like this a little bit, you know, extra hand so they can get used to the feel of it. So awesome. All right. I appreciate you going through all this. If you guys want to learn how to dive, if you are a diver and you just want to come out, get a hold of these guys, get a hold of Glenn at Mermet Springs. The link will be in the description below. I appreciate it. And here in a little while we'll be doing our dive. Yep. All right. Appreciate it. I don't want to waste what's left. And What do, you, what do you think about my suit, huh? Uh, you want to push that button? Push that button. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we are doing the kickoff dive of 2020. diving everybody get off at the same time because if we have everyone go from one side then all the people on this side are going to face plant so when he says it let's do it together don't ask us how we know about the face planting what go diving Woo!
that was the first dive of 2020. Yep. <laughs> For everyone. Did you guys see that spoonbill right up in my face? I thought he wanted to fight. That was so cool of a dive for the uh, kickoff of 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel so you guys can be updated each and every time that I do a dive here. And with that being said, I'm also going to start doing salvage recovery. Um, we just got back from Missouri. I learned a lot from two gentlemen, Sam Ginn and Jared Lysak from Adventures with Purpose. And Sam, Samuel Ginn, they have hearts. That's all I'm going to say. You guys will see the video soon. So uh, thanks again for all your support. Check out all my peoples. If you want to learn how to dive, check out Mermet Springs. It's a fantastic facility with great instructors. And if you know how to dive, get a hold of me I'll take a dive with you anytime any, anywhere just just get a hold of me tell me when you're gonna come down and we'll do it it's south of Iana Illinois about ten and a half miles I'll see you guys keep diving it's not worth it to stop later